everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa, and today I am going to do a video that I was inspired to do by Jessica Braun. I'm going to do a full face of top rated makeup products at Ulta. So what I did personally is I went to, you know, search a category, like I searched eyeshadow palette, and I then clicked on to top rated. And then I scrolled down and found the first item that I own, and that is what I chose to use. There are items that are, you know, way more rated than the items I'm going to be showing you. It's just these are the items I personally own, and I didn't want to go out and buy a product just because it was highly rated, you know. So this is kind of like a Shop My Stash Ulta's top rated products, makeup products. Okay, so. If you're not already, I would love for you to subscribe and join my little family. I do mostly makeup videos. Yeah, let's just get into this video and do a full face of top rated items at Ulta. So I was actually surprised to see this. And not all these items have like a ton of reviews. This isn't where they have like thousands of reviews and they're top rated. Some of these only have like seven reviews and they're top rated but I just picked the first item and if I owned it, that's what I chose. So this is the No Porblum Prime Essence Touch and Soul Primer, which I was surprised to see this uh, like being top rated. Not that it's a bad product, it's just I don't feel like it's a popular product, but it's just a primer that I got in a boxy charm and it's like, uh, I wanna say it's like a Korean, yeah, it's a Korean beauty brand and it has this little dropper and it's like, I don't know, it's like real liquidy and it's supposed to, well, it's supposed to help with your pores. Well, there isn't much else information on this container, but yeah, it's supposed to help with your pores and it's just like a really liquidy primer. I wouldn't say this is my favorite primer, but it's not my worst either. It's kind of one I forget to use, honestly. For foundation, I'm going to go in with my Estee Lauder Futures Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Makeup Broad Spectrum Spec the 45 in the shade 2C3 Fresco. So I just recently did a video on this. This foundation is fairly new. It's been around... I want to say like four, five months, and it, I'm not surprised that it's on the you know top rated products because I feel like this foundation is you know has been talked about and is hyped up. I think it's a pretty foundation. I really enjoy the shade. I think it's like a perfect match. Mine is like a cool uh, with rosy undertone, and it's perfect. I think once I figured out my true undertone, like I'm having better luck matching foundations. Like I'm not warm. I used to think I was neutral, but I definitely, I'm cool with pink undertones. But yeah, this foundation is really nice. But my thing about like expensive foundations is there's always something comparable at the drugstore for way less of a price. So, I don't know. I enjoy it, but you know how that goes. For concealer, I chose, I mean, of course, Tarte Shape Tape was like, you know, one of the highest top rated concealers at Ulta, but I no longer own Tarte uh, Shape Tape. I went through it, but I do own the It Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer and I have mine in the shade Light Natural. So this is a very, very thick, um, almost like greasy concealer and you just squeeze out a little bit. If you use too much, you know, it can look really bad. But I think if you use just a little bit, it can be nice. It is very moisturizing, I would say. And 
I do feel like it's full coverage as well, but this isn't my preferred method of like application for concealer. I find that I, you know, prefer the doe foot applicator. And this is, this was just really thick and creamy, almost heavy feeling. And for powder, this was a top rated item on Ulta is a Revlon Photo Ready Candid anti-pollution setting powder and I have mine in 001. I know a lot of people, some people didn't like this because they said it was like very fine like HD powder but I like it. It is very finely milled. It's a soft powder and it just comes like this and you have the little top you take off and it opens up and you can put some in your cap and it isn't like a stark white boot powder. So it doesn't like leave a white cast on me at least. Already looks so much better. <laughs> I've been so tired. I've been up since 2.30 in the morning because I had to work today. And I work in a nursing home. And currently in New York, if you work in a nursing home, you have to get tested for the coronavirus twice a week. And I have been tested three times so far. And each time I get tested, it's worse. First time wasn't too bad. And I don't know, it just seems to be getting worse and worse. I don't know if like my sinuses are just like stop. But like today she went up there, she twisted. I felt like she touched my brain. Like I had brain freeze like when you, you know, when you eat a lot of ice cream or drink something that's really cold too fast, you get brain freeze. That's what it felt like, but much worse. And it hurt so bad up in here. It was not a fun time. And I'll have to get tested again Tuesday and then Friday. I don't know. I just hope this, we don't, I, I get why we have to do this. I totally get why we have to get tested, but it's hard. It, it is hard. It's scary. I, it doesn't matter how many times. I'm so anxious. It is so much anxiety when I sit down to do that test. But anyways, let's get back into the video. For bronzer, this actually came up before um, the Too Faced chocolate bronzers. I was surprised. Um, but not too surprised because this is a good bronzer and it's affordable is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer, and mine is in Forever Sun Kiss. This, I believe, is the lightest shade. And it is a really nice, it's a matte bronzer. I think it blends nice. This bronzer has, oh, blends nice. I went heavy-handed. It does have some warmth to this bronzer. I've been, like, looking for a cool tone bronzer want a really really cool one I mean it is good to have some warmth in the summertime and you like so you don't look like gray with a cool tone bronzer but I don't think I own anything like truly cool I own neutral but that's what I don't know so if you have any recommendations on true cool tone bronzers let me know and for blush Another product I'm not surprised is the Tarte Amazonian Clay uh, 12 Hour Blushes. Now I have my in the shade Party. This was a birthday gift from Sephora. And I believe this shade is like a Sephora exclusive. So they didn't have that shade, but it was, you know, Tarte bronzers or Tarte blushes were highly rated. And this is just like a pretty pink neutral blush. And I, I really do enjoy this blush. I think it's natural and I actually hit pan on it. And this is a small size, but it's pretty impressive when you have like a big makeup collection and you hit pan on something. I am getting some pigment, quite a bit of pigment, but it's so pretty. And there might be some blush already on this brush too that I'm mixing it in with. I just keep going, but I just think blush makes you look like healthy and more, I don't 
know, awake and youthful. So I'm just going crazy with the blush. Now for highlighter, Becca highlights were, you know, top rated, which isn't surprising to me either because, you know, Becca highlights, I would say more like a couple years ago, they were really, really hyped up on YouTube. But I have this one. This is like a duo. This was a Jaclyn Hill collab. This is old, discontinued. But the shades, I don't think the, the highlighter is a discontinued item. It's a mineral blush and highlight. It's called like Champagne Splits. And you have the blush and the highlight. This is Prosecco Pop. It's like the sister to Champagne Pop. This one's a little deeper. I bought this when I first like got into like YouTube and makeup and stuff and didn't realize like, you know, finding your correct highlight shade for your skin tone. So this one is a little dark on me. I don't use it that much. In the summertime I will when I have a tan, but it is very golden. And I do think, you know, this one at least that I tried is a nice highlight. But like anything, I, I guess I'm just a drugstore. I just love just good makeup. Like, don't get me wrong. I like high-end makeup too. I like the experience of using high-end makeup. But I just find drugstore has just as good as stuff, you know? And I just like to, whenever I do highlight lately, recently I like to, you know, go over it with a sponge just to blend it into my skin make it look a little more natural. But it definitely has a glow to it. It's just the shade is a touch too dark. But I think it'd be really pretty if I had a tan. For setting sprays, these Mario ben Bandusku, Bandusku, Mario Bandusku. I think I'm saying it right. I know uh, Didi, uh, Decor Beauty, the one video she's correcting me on how to say it. I'm terrible at like saying certain things. It doesn't matter how many times people tell me the correct way to say it, I still say it wrong. But these are very highly rated on Alta's website. And I think these are really nice uh, setting sprays. I wouldn't say they do much for your actual, like they do freshen up your makeup and give you moisture to the skin, but I wouldn't say they were like make your makeup long lasting or anything like that. But I think they smell really nice and they do make you feel refreshed. And like this one has the aloe, cucumber and green tea. So I think this would be really nice in the summer. Like if you had a sunburn, like, you know, out in the sun too long. And the sprayer is really nice on this too. It smells so good. I don't think it's too strong of a scent. It's, it's definitely refreshing and it like gives you hydration, I feel. For like an eyebrow product, of course, Anastasia Beverly Hills is like one of the most top rated eyebrow products, but I don't own that. But this did pop up the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil and this is a $2 one. The e.l.f. has another brow pencil I forget what it's called, but I think it's like the finer tip one. It's a cost a little bit more, but that was rated even better than this one. But I do enjoy this brow pencil. It I actually, I feel like this is my most used brow product. And I have mine in the shade Neutral Brown. And I think it, it's really nice for my brows. It's easy to use, but it, like I said, it isn't a super fine tip. I mean, $2 too, you can't beat that. And I don't honestly do much with my brows. I kind of just go through them real quick. Um, you know, just add more definition to them. And this brow pencil does come with a spoolie, which is nice. I mean, most brow products do, but for being a $2 brow product, I think this is really good. And I'm not surprised it's highly rated. For eyeshadow primer that I own is the Anastasia Eye Primer. I really do like this primer. I feel like this is gonna last forever. It's a pretty decent size, you know, container, and you only need a little bit. 
and this primer also offers coverage. So you could, I don't know, I like it because it like conceals as well. And this is like my favorite primer to use when I'm doing cut creases. And I think it, I think it blends out nice and it's, I feel like it's self-setting for the most part. For eyeshadow palette, the top rated is the Anastasia Modern Renaissance, which I totally get that. But one that I, I actually don't own the Modern Renaissance. Like when I first got into makeup, that was really popular. And I remember looking at it and be like, those are too bold of colors. I would never wear them because it has the berry and reds. And now like, that's like a neutral, you know, but this is a top rated palette. It had quite a bit of ratings actually is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. And I know this is like highly talked about on YouTube. Anytime people like talk about older palettes that they love, they always talk highly of this one. And it still smells like chocolate. And it is mostly a shimmer palette. And the shimmers are beautiful, but you do have some matte light colors that you could just use in your crease and then you just pop in shimmers. Like this rolling in the dough right here, the matte cream, like you could just go over and set everything down. And the formula of this palette is really good. I honestly don't reach for this palette that much, which is kind of sad. But when you have so many eyeshadow palettes, it is hard. I gotta get back into like rotating my palettes. I was good about doing that, like shopping my stash, but ever since I moved and stuff, I kind of stopped doing that. I need to get back in. I mean, this palette's so easy too, because the colors, like you don't even have to think, like, you know, brow bone highlight or set the eyes, crease, crease or outer corner, outer corner or liner. Like it's super easy to use. I think it's super like beginning beginner friendly. The shade's so bougie in the crease. And it smells and I already said it smells like chocolate. But it does give you a pleasant experience when you're doing your eyeshadow. And I was told or I seen that these actually taste like chocolate. I haven't tried personally. But that is interesting. And then I'll go in with a deeper brown. Work that in my outer corner. I'm just going to do like a classic basic eye look. I'm not sure what shimmer I'm going to go in with. because There are so many pretty shimmers. There's like cooler tones and warmer tones. It is really pretty. Purple, pink. Maybe I'll do New Money, the pink shade right here. We'll see how it works with a brush. It is so pretty. And I want to go in with that black and I want to deepen up that outer V. I feel like I hold my breath every time I use black shades. Because I could go so wrong. I just want to blend it. I just want to connect it to the pink. I'm going to take a little more pink. I just kind of connect it together. And I'm going to go in with that Cocoa Truffle. And you just blend it just lightly. I'm going to tap on some of that new money. These shimmers are definitely best used with a finger, that's for sure. We'll go in with Rich Girl. Yeah, I'm gonna pop Rich Girl in the inner corner for like that real pop glittery goodness. And I think I wanna do Drippin' Diamonds. It's like almost like a blue, silver blue. And I wanna pop that in the middle. I don't know, this could be a mistake. I'm like, I don't know. I just wanna add a little bit I'm kind of adding it all over. I don't know. It kind of gave like a cool shift to the pink. And for my lower lash line, I'm going to go in with Decadent, the black. A little, a line. 
And then I want to go in with some bougie and blend the black out. Just one of my basic go-to eye looks, honestly. I mean, I feel like it would almost be fun to pop some color down there. I'll go in with the purple. Live in lavish. We'll try that. We'll just do a little on the outer corner. Or, you know, the outer part of my lower lash line. It's a really pretty color. And I'll dust some rich girl in my brow bone. Why not? like a shimmery like clubbing Ooh. did you hear the thunder Ooh, i felt the whole floor vibrate yeah it's gonna be a like a clubbing look okay for a top rated eyeliner that i own this popped up, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Liner. And it's just like one of these where you have the little thing, you know, like the inkwell. And it is a felt tip. And I, th I think it's, I, I honestly prefer brush tips because I find brush tip like application easier, but I know everyone has their preference, but I can say that this is a very matte black liner. So I'll do that really quick. Well, slow for me, quick for you guys. It just started downpouring. It is raining really intense out there. Everyone driving by my house is going super slow. It's hard to see. I don't know. I'm glad I'm inside, but I hope everyone who's out, you know, there stays safe. So for mascara, a highly rated mascara is the Bambi Eye by L'Oreal, which, you know, doesn't surprise me either because it is a newer mascara. And I actually just did a video on this as well. I find it is a nice mascara for separating and lengthening. And for lip products, the NYX Lingerie is a top rated lip product. I actually had to scroll uh, far down. Like a lot of L'Oreal lipsticks were highly rated. I think MAC lipsticks, but I had to scroll down until I found something I actually own. And the NYX Lingerie, these liquid lipsticks, Sticks. I actually really enjoy them and they're all like nude shades. I have mine in like lippy and it's like a neutral, like a nude mauve. Or oh, it's called Bedtime Flirt. I keep calling it lippy. Uh, yeah, it's in the shade Bedtime Flirt. For glosses, I was actually surprised this is like one of the top rated uh, glosses is the Alta Beauty brand, the Jelly Gloss. Which surprised me because there's so many, like, I don't know. I'm surprised this popped up. I actually never tried it. I'm going to take the wrapper off. I'm going to put this on really quick because I don't want any lip product to try it. It's just like one of those squeeze tubes. It feels nice. It has, like, shimmer in it, and it reminds me of the ColourPop, uh, like those uh, juicy lip glosses. Put on the uh, liquid lipstick, Bedtime Flirt, the NYX lingerie. I see that they came out like um kind of like crayon versions of the colors. I really, if I find those, I'm definitely gonna pick up one because I do enjoy these colors and I like the formula of this. It's kind of like I don't know. I like it because it's so close to like my lip color. I don't know. I enjoy it. And I'll pop a little bit of the Alta jelly gloss. I'm actually surprised about this one. Okay, that is it guys. So these are my top rated makeup products, you know, from Ulta that I own. I thought this was really like fun and interesting to go through my products. And honestly, I understand why they're top rated. 
out of everything, I really enjoy everything, except I'm not a huge fan of the It um, Bye Bye Under Eye. I mean, it's not terrible. It's just not like my preferred, but I do, you know, I have to say it does co cover my dark circles. And like I said, I've been up since 2.30 in the morning. And a lot of these products, I would say, are YouTube hyped up products. And some of them, I feel like, are just like, like if somebody were just to go into Ulta and not follow YouTube, they would pick up some of these items. Yeah, I don't know. That is it, guys. I hope you are all staying safe. And I know a lot of states are opening back up. Like, I believe we are in phase one. The rest of the state where I live, like some, not the rest of it, some areas in my state, like out in the country areas, they're going to go to phase two soon. But I know New York is like way behind other states because New York was one of the harder hit states. So honestly, it's going to take a long time for New York to get back to normal. Like the fair got canceled. Our amusement parks are closed for the summer. It's, I get why, but it, it's still okay to, to be upset about it. Like, I know people are very judgy and critical, you know, being critical of other people. Um, but it's a natural feeling to be upset about what's going on. And it, it, you, like, it affects your life, it affects other people's lives. Like I expressed that I was nervous about the COVID testing and I got criticized about that because they said, if I'm nervous to do that, then I'm not brave enough to take care of like the wisest, like meeting elderly people. And didn't, you know, I feel like it's okay to be nervous of things you never experienced before. And even, Though I experienced it, I'm still scared every single time because it is a very unpleasant experience. But that's besides the point. I'm getting, I'm just going on. I can't wait to go to bed tonight. I can't wait and sleep in tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow. But I hope you all are doing well. And if you're not already, like I said, I would love for you to subscribe. And if you like this video, like it. Helps me out. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.